Now we continue exploring the water crisis that's gripping many parts of the country. The Hart Biesport Dam has many years been experiencing, for many years rather, been going through issues with litter and algae, for example. Our reporter, Tsekhoa Chomuaka, is there this morning and is joining us now. Tsekhoa, very good morning to you. Of course, many people who live in and around Gauteng, and I guess other parts of South Africa, tend to visit Hart Biesport Dam for all kinds of leisure and stuff. And that area, the water body has battled over the last few years to stay clean. Absolutely, that is very true, Brad. And so um, you would know that the Harte Piersburg Dam um, has got hyacinth on the dam itself. We understand that hyacinth is actually caused by sewage, um, and it's not necessarily a bad plant um, for one to see. This is not the only dam where we've seen this situation. Um, just on Monday, I was in Hamanskral, and that dam there as well has got the same situation and various other dams within the country. But to give us details about how they are trying to alleviate this situation, um, joined by Pietras Fenter from the Department of Water and Sanitation. Pietras, thank you so much for your time. So we do know that this is quite a situation for the department. What is hyacinth and how are you guys trying to alleviate this off the dam? The hyacinth is an invasive water aquatic plant which um, is with us already close to 100 years illegally came into the country and what uh, make it such a big problem it is one of the fastest growing water plants that we know it have the ability to duplicate under optimal conditions within 18 days so you know it can get quite out of control it could have been much worse if the department didn't start doing already long ago um, with environmental affairs introducing some bio reagents that means it's the enemy weavers moths um, insects that are actually eating up the plant and also weakening it. If it wasn't for that, the dam would have been really out of control within a year. But as it is now, after three years of extensive growth, the dam is, the hyacinth is between 15 to 20 percent coverage, which is a lot. I mean, it is between three to four hundred hectares. The dam is 2,000 hectares big. So when the plants actually are fed with of high nutrients, which is a case, um, as you mentioned, that there's nutrients coming from the old Johannesburg and the metros, um, the plant um, can grow quite fast and get out of control, as we have noticed. Mm -hmm. And so you said that the department is working on this situation. How long will it take for you guys to be able to just clear it out completely? Because it does seem like it is growing at a very rapid pace. Well, at this, the volumes that we're now talking about, we need much more intense activities. The department have for 10 years maintained this dam with um, workers that was permanently being employed. With that in review, um, if you cannot remove it on a constant basis, that is when they start getting out of control. There's many private, corporate um, estates around the dam and uh, people, as we're aware of, that got even sponsorship from Coca-Cola that are busy taking it out and producing Reduce fertilization, which is of a quite a good quality. Mm -hmm. And so, um, for the people that don't know, are they able to actually touch this plant? Are they able to use it for other um, sources and for other resources? The only control of this plant is that it don't get further spread, but there's a widely spread in many of our rivers, but there is still rivers and dams that are not infested. That is for us very important that it don't spread wider than it is at the moment. For that purpose, the plants, the control is on the movement of this plants, that it cannot spread further. Um, and uh, as such, the plant have actually um, inherent benefits as any other organic material, plants, leaves, can be composted and is a very valuable organic compost. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not having a direct um, disadvantage or uh, it's not something that people need to be scared of. The only problem is with this vast coverage, if people are on the dam and the winds start turning, that can lock you in and you might feel a little bit lonely till somebody come and help you with a bigger boat. Mm -hmm. And is this plant actually dangerous to the water? You know, it's not the ideal situation, but uh, because if you would lo rather like natural indigenous wetland plants to be on the water. It certainly do have an advantage because it take out nutrients, it compete 
with the nutrients, then it means it, it, it actually makes sure that there's less algal growth. And as you would witness, the water are, you know, like crystal clear mm -hmm. till this time of the year, which is right into summer. Um, to have um, five to six meters of clarity on the dam is quite exceptional, and we can contribute that partially also to the hyacinths. Right. So they do have some advantage. All right. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it, Brad Dan. Um, Pietras Fenter from the Department of Water and Sanitation saying there is kind of an advantage to this particular plant, but not really an ideal situation. Thank you very much. On the ground at Port Dam.